The Chargers. Stop talking about the Raiders. Now talk about the Chargers. Well done. How's that? Sweet. Yeah, really Eight nice. and a half. Eight and a half of the Chargers. Jim Harbaugh, Harbaugh coming in. I don't know if there's a more fascinating storyline than uh, Justin Herbert on what his fourth coordinator in five years is it? And it's Greg Roman. Greg yeah. Roman, who has had success in other places, but mostly with uh, not just a mobile quarterback, but a quarterback run game, right? A Colin Kaepernick, um, a Lamar Jackson. So in a vacuum, you could say, well, he's led an MVP caliber season from Lamar Jackson. On the other hand, you say, well, Justin Herbert plays the game differently than all those guys. He's very athletic, but you're not running QB power with Justin Herbert. So I, I do how is this though. going to fit? Yeah, I I don't know that that's a foregone conclusion that you're not necessarily okay. Maybe not that specific play, but like I don't know that it's a foregone conclusion that you're not going to be really leaning into Justin Herbert as a part of the designed run game. I mean, he is like six five, six six, two hundred thirty five pounds, and athletic with it. Um, I think he can do like a lot of what you know, Lamar Jackson, Colin Kaepernick, those guys have done. Now, obviously, he's not Lamar Jackson, right? Nobody is. But, like, he can he do the Josh Allen stuff that we've seen for the last couple of years where on third and fourth and one, the Bills are almost unstoppable because Allen is a cheat code. Like, no matter what you, like, you, it's, it's like rock, paper, scissors, right? You can win, you can pick up fourth and one in a variety of different ways. And no matter what you do in offense, like Josh Allen is the thing that invalidates whatever you called in rock, paper, scissors, because theoretically you might've called the right defense. You shut down what they want to do. And then Allen either runs over around or somehow like gets a pass out from the grasp of tackle and picks it up anyway. I think Herbert can do that for this offense. And I don't think that Greg Roman is going to be looking at this guy and saying, well, everything I usually do goes out the window because I've got this, you know, statue pocket passer now i got to do something completely different i think he's looking at herbert and thinking all right how can how can i use him in the stuff i usually like to do but i agree with you it's a fascinating kind of melding of what don't feel like immediate obvious matches that let's see what this ends up producing i mean the other the other reason for why you might want to run herbert other than i mean the negative of course is trying to keep him healthy Yep. But the neg the the other reason is just the receiving core, right? They gutted the receiving core. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams are gone. They went into the draft with probably the worst receiver room in the NFL on paper. They did spend the high second rounder on Lad McConkey. They did make three total draft picks at receiver. They bring in DJ Chark, but you're not looking at that room saying, "Oh man, yeah, I gotta gotta chuck it around the yard." So that's what's interesting, honestly. The Roman thing. It's such a big question mark for me. If you had told me Jim Harbaugh is coming in and let's say Kellen Moore is still the offensive coordinator, right. I think I'd be even higher on the Chargers because I think Harbaugh is going to come in and say, we're going to run the ball differently. We are going to we are going to run the ball. We're going to play our game. I think Harbaugh does make uh, an immediate – I think he immediately upgrades this team. I do believe that. I do think they're just going to play this style of football right out of the gate and look much better. So I'm going to go over eight and a half. What I'm worried about is the ceiling. And if they're going to, ultimately, it's are you going to get the most out of Justin Herbert? I don't care how many times you run six tight ends and run the ball like crazy. If you're not getting the most out of Herbert through the air, then you're leaving something on the table. And I'm just not sure they're capable. I, I don't know if they're there yet. So I like over eight and a half. I think, the, I think they'll win. They'll look different. But I'm interested to see what happens in the coming years as they build that the playmaking group around Herbert to try to maximize what he can do. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I think it seems to be sort of universally accepted that Jim Harbaugh will win with the Chargers. Um, it's just a case of how long it takes. And I, I kind of agree with that. I, I think I mean, he's had success literally everywhere he's been. It's actually an amazing resume when you factor in college and the NFL. Um, I, I do think he'll and with Justin Herbert there, like it's it's at that point it's kind of hard not to. Um, I do think it'll work. I don't know that it happens year one though. Like I there's just too many problems with this team overall in terms of talent level. Like it, maybe for a couple of years they were in this spot where you're like, how are they not a better team given the talent that they have? I don't know that they're there anymore. It's been sort of eroded and chipped away at so much. That wide receiver room is just is bad on paper. Um, I, I don't know that they have the talent to make that happen year one. So 
Your think, media card, your media card's getting revoked. If you take the under for the Chargers, it's not allowed. It is. Right, it is yeah. June. We have to love the Chargers. It's June. I let my we dues do. lapse, lapse anyway. <laughs> they, they kicked me out a while ago. Um, I'm going under. Eight wins, Max. Revoked. <laughs>